Hey Cancer, this is EJ from Tarot Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good start to their week. I hope you're having a fairly decent March. So this is the Cancer Dig Deeper Love reading for March 2019. And I apologize for taking so long to get back here, but oh, work, work, and work. That's all I can say at this point. I'm thankful to have a job. But sometimes, yeah, y'all know. <laughs> All right, Cancer. So this is going to be a nine-card spread. We're going to do three for recent past energy, three for current energy, and three for future energy, one for overall energy, and three for guidance from the universe. A reminder that I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. And I'll also pull an oracle card. I'm using the Trust Your Vibes oracle cards by Sonia Choquet. Um, I'll pull one of those at the end of the reading for uh, encouragement and guidance from the universe. So let's see what we got going on here, Cancer. First card, Ace of Wands. Second card, Four of Wands. Wow. Wow. Third card, Nine of Wands. Current Energy, Judgment card, your Centerpiece card, Ace of Coins, and the third card for your Current Energy, Queen of Cups. For Future Energy, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, Queen of Coin, and from the bottom of the deck, Pisces, or Cancer, I'm sorry, Ooh, the moon card. Um, Pisces energy. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's see what we have going on here. Ah, hmm. Well, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. So, looking at your recent past energy with the Ace of Wands here. Um, yeah. Okay. So, when I was shuffling the cards right before I got on camera, um, it was almost like I was shuffling against a brick. Like I couldn't completely shuffle the cards and my attention was kind of just wandering around. So I'm hearing that you had some energy blocks and this is probably energy. I'm going to say, okay, this makes sense from maybe left over from the holidays, January, February, um, you ran into somebody and they just kind of shut you down. They told you something or explained something. Something was said to you uh, by another person. It just kind of shut you down. It's not going to resonate with every cancer. And it's a Pisces in here somewhere because I flipped the Pisces card and I can, the fish keeps swimming across here. Um, Cups, cups, yeah. Okay, so maybe Cancer, who you were dealing with was a Pisces. Could have been an air sign. It could have been an earth sign, but I'm picking up Pisces. So for those of you that this resonates with, you'll know what I'm talking about. They may not actually be a Pisces. They may have it in their rising or um, moon sign or somewhere else in their natal chart, but they've got a lot of... the. This person tends to be wishy-washy. That'll, that'll solve that for you. And emotional. Um, but from your recent past energy, you went from this kind of energy block to having to deal with a wedding, a funeral, a baby, um, some kind of family, celebrate, uncelebrate, if you will, type of situation. situation. And it just kind of left you at the end of all of this just almost like it was a setback dealing with this and this person telling you something may have told you something about this particular situation so it may have been that a loved one transitioned or passed on um, and this person told you this but whatever it is it shuts you down and it shuts you down to a point where you have really just been in your head kind of for the past few weeks, your overall energy being the moon card, I'm not picking up the deceptive, unfaithful energy that this card usually uh, denotes. It's more of a kind of a personal, emotional 
feeling. So it may be that you lost a loved one or there may have been a divorce or maybe um, something with some kids, something happened. I'm sorry that it happened, but this is not all bad here. This, Even though your overall energies kind of got you reflecting inward, um, almost like you don't believe what's going on. Um, with your current energy, you're in a forgiving mode. So then we we'll go back to that recent past energy. Maybe there was an argument or a fight that came about between you and a lover. And your current energy is to want to forgive them and start this over. The Ace of Coins. And I'm not picking up Ace. Everybody will tell you Ace is one. Ace is always... Um, is the beginning of something and it's usually something new i'm not necessarily picking up new energy off of that and this is your centerpiece card so i'm gonna guess this is your person that you're dealing with they may be an earth sign they may not be um but there's earth energy here and there's renewal here there's renewal if you want to whatever happened here your lover is involved here some way um I don't I'm not I wouldn't understand why you wouldn't forgive them and why you wouldn't try to start this over um, with the Queen of Cups right next to this ace of coin I, I want to say that there's probably a lot of emotional things going on between you and this person but it's not chaotic it's not that oh my god I have this person every day ah it's not that kind of frenetic energy it's a very calm and soothing energy um, and this is what you guys are bringing to each other and this is your current energy so it seems like you have kind of settled down from whatever this recent past energy was and your overall energy being that of being kind of in contemplation mode um, yeah there's a real sense of calm and I feel it it's just from just the last couple of minutes and talking about your recent past to now. It's just a very chill feeling. For your future energy, with four of cups, um, you and your lover need to do some daydreaming together. You need to think about maybe taking a trip or uh, doing something to pull you, and if you kind of look, underneath the judgment card after you do whatever forgiving or um clearing the air really it's not so much about um making a judgment on somebody or being overly opinionated it's about forgiving and it's about at least understanding the process that's what i'll say um and taking the time to do that and because it's right next to the Ace of Coins, I'm going to say that helps you either renew this relationship or, for a handful of you, start a brand new relationship. I'm not getting brand new. Brand new doesn't even sound right coming out of my mouth looking at these cards. I'm not, that's not the energy that I'm picking up here. Um, for your future energy, it, it's trip time. You guys need to step back and step out of your environment. I know I just said this about um, a Virgo situation not too long ago for a live reading that I did. Um, you need to step back and you need to daydream and fantasize about some things, which you might want to do in the near future. Um, because you guys are, when you come down off of this kind of emotional, and if you just look, Number one, all three cards are wands cards. So it whatever happened, happened very quickly. Uh, there's a lot of emotion and passion. All three of those cards have some element of pink or red in them. Um, and they're wands cards. So that means automatically the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that energy. It's that very passionate right in your face thing. So whatever that was... It brings you here to the point of needing to either understand the process or forgive the person. You and your partner starting over, you need to you need to step away to do that. And I'm going to say this because this is the fourth wine card down here. When you get back, 
you will have ignited some passion. You will have ignited some passion and you will understand better where the two of you fit in the scheme of things together as a couple uh, versus you by yourself, Cancer, or your partner by themselves. At the end of all of that, you're bringing it, bringing it right home, keeping it grounded, keeping it cool, keeping it, keeping the the energy between the two of you a nurturing energy, and both of you supporting each other and committing to each other at a different level than where you are now. If you're going to renew. Um, again, I can't. I don't even know what to say about a new relationship because none of this is resonating. It's new to me. Um, this is all kind of start over, do over energy. Um, two major arcana cards on the board: the Judgment and the Moon. That tells me that your overall energy is playing a big part on your emotions. Um, this is not a little bitty, itty bitty something. This is big. Um, and with the judgment card here, you understanding the process, you forgiving if it's needed and, and called for plays a big part in you renewing your relationship. So you may well have to forgive your lover. I'm not getting a total sense that it's your lover that you're forgiving, but some part of this situation may have been just family related and it just kind of pulled you away from what you got going on and and again it could have been a wedding a funeral and it, it, it was not a happy occasion and even weddings there are some weddings that are just not happy because people act ugly and do crazy things so it won't resonate with each and every one of you but it will resonate with some of you you will understand what i'm talking about um let's see what the universe has for guidance Two of coin, knight of wands, six of cups. So here's what I'm getting from this. When you make this new commitment to renew to this relationship, don't get somewhere at some point and get wishy-washy. Do definitely weigh the pros and cons of the situation. And understand there's emotional content here that needs to be considered. But don't, don't have so many pieces that you're looking at that you get wishy-washy. You know, if you're looking at too much, step back and look at the big picture. Um, and with that, the universe is telling you to stay in the moment. And there's that passion. There's another fire card. So definitely, as far as your lover is concerned, stay in the moment and taking the trip is a good stay in the moment kind of thing because once you get away and you're not concerned with so much of the day-to-day -day, is the car have gas did i pay the light bill where are the kids when you don't have those day-to-day -day things to worry about and you take three or four or two days away somewhere and you can put all of that operational stuff down for a minute it allows you to kind of live in the moment. So when you're hungry, you can just get up and go eat. If you want to go get in the pool, you can go get in the pool. That kind of energy. So it may be good to start planning maybe um, an early spring or late spring trip. Definitely. Six of Cups. Yeah, it's a past relationship. That's exactly what it is. Just because it's a past relationship, Cancer, you want to treat it, when you get to that point where you're literally starting over, you want to treat it like it's a new relationship. You want to leave whatever it is that went on, if this was between you and your lover. I think for some people it's going to resonate that this little part up here from your recent past may have been a family situation, a death, um, a baby's birth, but maybe something wasn't quite right. Maybe mom got sick. Something that took you away from your energy with your partner or this could have been very well your partner you guys could have gotten to a big whatever and blown up and everybody just lost it and it puts you in this overall mood forgiving or at least understanding what happened and what the process is even if you're not at this point ready to forgive just yet treat it like it's new 
Treat it like it's new. Treat it like it's brand new. When you get back into it, if you decide that that's really what you want to do and you commit to it, treat it like it's brand new. Forget all of whatever happened in the past, whatever was said in the past, because if you don't, it'll be a constant back and forth and you will not allow the relationship to have the environment it needs to grow in, if that makes any sense. So by bringing up a lot of old toxic shit, even on occasion, <coughs> it's not good because it, it, it starts sowing seeds that you really don't want to harvest at some later date, um, especially if you want to keep your relationship for any kind of long term. So just remember, I'm telling you, in this reading, the Six of Cups, that past relationship, you want to treat it like it's brand new. You want to treat it like it's brand new. Let's see what the Oracle has for encouragement and guidance for you, Cancer. Ha, ha, ha. There you go. There you go. Expect the best. Expect the best. If you want to renew this, and this is just confirmation for the whole reading. If you want to renew this, expect the best. And you that's exactly what you'll get, Cancer. You will get the very best that this person has to give you. Um, for those of you where it was a situation with your partner and you guys blew up and, and maybe even separated for a hot second, whatever it was, do your best to understand how it happened. Now, let me say this. If it was some funky, messed up mess, let it go. If it was abusive in any kind of form or fashion, let it go. But if this was something that happened and, you know, you may even <clears throat> at one point thought you overreacted to the situation or you may have thought your partner overreacted to the situation, sit down and, and whatever you guys need to do. If you need to have that conversation, have it and do, do the analysis. Do the damn analysis. You need to forgive them. If you need to understand the process, why something happened or why something didn't happen, do that so you can get on to the new stuff. I believe wholeheartedly that when you re reboot this relationship, there are going to be some aspects of it that you weren't aware of the last time, and you're going to be pleasantly surprised, and I think that's a good thing. So... Treat it like it's new. I know that's not the Ace of Cups. I know that's the Six of but I'm telling you, treat it. When you get it, if you do it over, treat it like it's new. Expect the best. I love you, Cancer. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.